Um, I also have another question in regard to um, humility. The things you were just saying were ma ma reminded me of um, something that we're often taught in Krishna consciousness that what attracts Krishna most, what attracts his mercy most is our humility. And um, I, in my mind, or I often take that to mean, um, you know, if we're, if we're not humble and, and, you know, we have all these ideas, these speculations in our mind, and we're not open to take on the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. Um, and I just was wondering if, if that's accurate and also if what, if, you know, what else is there besides that that attracts Krishna, his mercy? What, is it, what else is it about humility that attracts him? So, humility is what attracts Krishna. <coughs> In my understanding, it's a matter of a personal relationship with Krishna. And in every relationship, it is how, how much a person is concerned about the other person that, that determines the longevity of the relationship. If somebody is very self-obsessed, that they are, con they are always talking about themselves and their feelings are not concerned about us, then naturally, you know, we, f we may feel, depending on the particular modality of the relationship, we don't feel valued or even if we feel wanted, we feel more used than valued or cherished. So at one level, <clears throat> you, we see humility as something that frees our consciousness so that it's, it's free from self-obsession, self-promotion, self-glorification and is avail available for the other person. So, so that's, I would say, humility in one sense is required for any relationship. Now, specifically with respect to Krishna, there are many other factors coming into play that he is the supreme being and we need to be aware of his greatness. So when relating with God, there is his greatness and there is his, there is his sweetness and we need to be aware of both. Uh, however, the more we become aware of his greatness, the more it creates a sense of uh, humility, a sense of submissiveness. And then when we move forward toward Krishna's great sweetness, we can become more absorbed in him. So now does humility itself attract Krishna? Yes, of course. It is especially that humility when it is expressed through service attitude or through service, then that attitude is what attracts Krishna. So if you consider the famous verse 927 krishna says that those who offer him patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhaktyo paritam ashnami prayata atmana 926 so now what is he saying over here that you don't need something big to offer to me but whatever you have if you offer it to me if it is offered with devotion i'll accept it so what Krishna wants is the devotion of the heart and humility ensures that our heart is not occupied with ourselves, but it is, it is rich with, it has the space for devotion to be present and devotion to enrich the heart. And then the devotion attracts Krishna. So I would say that it's a, not so much humility, but it is bhakti. It is devotion that attracts Krishna. Now, devotion is one of the characteristics of uh, pure devotional services that even it, it even attracts Krishna. And Radharani, who is the personification of devotion, is the person is the um, person who attracts Krishna the most. So now, is it her humility that attracts? It is it is her devotion that attracts. So it's a, in my understanding, yes, humility is important, but humility is what enables our heart 
to have the space for devotion to be manif to be present and to become manifest and it is devotion that attracts krishna so devotion is expressed through the desire to serve so devotion is is the feeling of love or affection and that feeling is expressed through service that's why if, if there is devotional service the devotion inside and the attitude of service outside then that is the that is the way we become connected with krishna krishna wants to reciprocate with us and that's how we move forward so humility when it is made into an end in itself there could be people who are humble but there they could be they could they are humble in their disposition but they might have no interest in god at all they might even be atheists but behavior they might be humble so is their humility in the sense that they they don't seek credit for themselves they want to share credit with others and you could have humility in an atheist would that attract krishna well krishna loves all living beings and krishna in that sense he is present in the hearts of the atheists and he loves them also but it is not their humility alone that will attract krishna it is primarily the service attitude or rather the devotional service attitude that attracts krishna and humility creates space for that does that address your question yes it does thank you thank you